Hey guys, it's Lauren. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm taking this opportunity because I'm getting ready to um, start uh, broadcasting some whiskey and weird coming up in November. I am visiting my uh, beautiful and brilliant daughter Emily in Syracuse. Here she is. <laughs> and um, naturally, we went to the liquor store. And I was looking for whiskey. I was actually looking for something local, but didn't find anything local, really. But I did find something I've never tried before. And that's the whole point, right? So I found this. It's called Ammunition. It is, um, it is distilled in um, Indiana. And um, then it's bottled in uh, Windsor, California. Um, this one is a straight bourbon whiskey, and it's finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels from uh, in from Sonoma County. Now the cool thing is, um, I was get, grabbing this guy. Where the liquor store is like, hey, you know what? That's the one that's um, finished in in cab barrels. He's like, we actually have the cab from this same company, Ammunition. There's the wine. It's a cab sav. And he suggested it, and I thought it was a super cool idea to do a little dual tasting. Now, <clears throat> I am more of the whiskey drinker, Emily not so much, but she is a wine drinker. So we thought it'd be kind of cool. We were kind of discussing whether or not we should, which one we should taste first, because I think there's kind of a different experience going on there. So what we decided is that she, as the wine taster, drinker, We'll drink the wine, taste the wine first, and then sip the whiskey to see if those notes really come through for her. Um, and I will do the opposite. I'm gonna taste the whiskey first, um, see what I get out of it, and then experience the wine after and see if it all kind of comes together. So um, so we're gonna try it out. Thanks for, for watching. I'm gonna open the bottle. As you know, I always like to uh, smell it right out of the bottle, see what kind of notes I get from it. Um, Hmm. Definitely get some cap. I definitely get the wine smell in this. You want to taste that or smell that, Emily? Oh yeah. You, you can't. Can smell you the can wine. really smell yeah. the wine in there. It's nice. It's not overpowering. And you know what I love? Sometimes when you first open a whiskey, if it's going to be really hot, like really um, spicy finish, it comes into your nose and burns your nose. This one didn't really do that. So. I'm gonna pour a little, a little in my glass here. So this is ammunition, again, is what it's called. Um, all right, in the, in the glass, definitely whiskey comes through. You can still get the cab, but um, there's a little, a little honey, a little honey in the, in the nose notes, so. I'm gonna try this. You you have anything you wanna do you like to do the smell like it smells you like wine. Do? <laughs> smells like wine to you. That's cool. Sometimes Does it have I a lot like of legs it. on it and all that. Yeah, I don't you know, know what, what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so the the legs are I don't know exactly what it means, but you know when you do this to wine yeah. and then, yeah, I don't really know either. And I worked in a tasting room. <laughs> doesn't leave I much on wine the wine Doesn't leave room. much on the glass. No, it doesn't. So that means it's not really viscous. Just like let's see if this one does it. Well, it's more okay, viscous. Yeah. It's a little more than your wine, right? Yeah. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna take a little in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like wine. <laughs> Tastes like whiskey. <laughs> When I said I'm gonna take a little in her mouth, in my mouth, right after that, in my head, I thought, "That's what she said." <laughs> uh, this, I can taste the honey. The cab comes through in the nose more for me than it does in this, which is pretty common in my experience. Not also, I I do like rum, the Caribbean rum, barreled whiskeys that comes through more. But this has a really mild finish. It is really viscous, though. So I can still feel it on yeah, my tongue. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, so, but let's trade. Just take a little sip. It's not, it's not really, it doesn't have a strong finish, which is what most people don't like about whiskey, is that it, like, burns when you, yeah. now, it might for you more because you're not 
a whiskey drinker oh, it doesn't as much. smell as pungent yeah this is really fruity you this the nose on this wine comes through a lot really? i think in the nose of the uh whiskey Mm. <laughs> Interesting too. Okay, T experiment here. <laughs> Take that, hold it on the roof of your mouth for a second. Do I have to? Yes, yes, because I want to see if, if it makes sense. Hold it on the roof of your mouth <laughs> okay. and see just, just a little teeny bit because you'll get different flavors from it. That's where you really taste the whiskey is when you do that. Just try it. Play it along with me, Emily. <laughs> I tried. I know. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Every time I inhale, right as I'm about to get it, Plug I can just, like, feel Take it in sip. my mouth. Aww. My tequila girly. They make a tequila or a whiskey that tastes like tequila. Okay, hold it there for a second. Do you get any, like, taste <laughs> sensation? <laughs> okay swallow it i guess now do the same with this wine now my experience was that <laughs> it's really rat poison in case you're wondering i'm slowly poisoning my daughter with whiskey now hold that one yeah. i don't usually hold liquor in my mouth well, well, any, any, you're no, i know with right? wine yeah. i'm talking about yeah. that yeah <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Like for me, the experience I could like yeah, I, I feel realized, like similar. Yeah, you can you get the wine in that moment that you're there when you when you finish it, it totally goes no. away. But putting holding that for a second. So I don't know. I I kinda like this stuff. It's kinda fun for a whiskey drinker. It's not um it's probably easier for people who like whiskey but are beginning. People don't tend to like something with a really uh you know burning finish so this one was a really mild finish i got for me it was kind of sweet which i think is the cab which is where i got the honey it's a really sweet cab right would you agree with that yeah it's on so, the sweeter end for yeah. sure so but pretty good i would recommend it we're actually going to enjoy it with some oh. ginger ale with our pizza but anyway you guys check this one out ammunition if, it's, if they sell it where you live. They do a rye also, but as most of my listeners, followers know, I don't really like rye whiskey. Although, that one was paired with a, was done in, I think he said Chardonnay um, barrels. And he said that the Chardonnay actually pulled some of the bitterness of the rye out. So, I might have to try that. I don't know. But ammunition, they do the wine. They do the whiskey. So, um, I think that's kind of a cool idea. But anyway... Thanks for checking it out. Um, I will keep you posted on when the new episode of Whiskey and Weird um, will go live. Slange.